Hello everyone, this is Scott. Today we are back with a... Actually, it's still the same day as it was in the other videos. We are back with another program that's going to be... Uh, this is so seen out right here. Uh, we're back with another uh, video of which we will be uh, reviewing a popular automation technique called uh, Ghost Mouse. Ghost mouse, in case you don't know, is widely used for Facebook gamers who want to automate their mouse clicks so they don't have to actually play the game. Sounds sick and twisted, I know, but we're going to see if it actually works and if it's something that you should use and to test if it's malware of any kind. First, let's just right-click so that way we can already move that out of the way. Okay, that's not infected. So uh, we're going to... Click play. Let's just see how it rolls. Alright, it did exactly what it should. Let's see if we can get the playback more. Okay, we have playback speed. Oh, yeah, let's see this. Oh, that was depressing. Other. Idle. You. No. Well. It's it, it seems like a nice program. It seems to work. It doesn't have any form of malware. Be careful about the installation, though, because, uh, as always, there will be some malware that you're going to get on there. And I'm going to give you all a uh, tip for today that's actually been going on, and I'm kind of concerned with it. There's been the largest cyber warfare to date on here. It's about 300 gigabytes are being sent across two companies for two 300 gigabytes per second, which is the largest of any cyber warfare to date. God, I sound like a news agency, but I don't care. Basically, the entire internet's being slowed down. Netflix is being slowed down. Google's being slowed down. Google's actually transferred some of the incoming traffic to their servers to help try to resolve the issue. I don't know why it started. I do know that it's been concerning, and I feel like this whole cyber warfare crap has been annoying me. And I think adults need to finally grow up and realize, hey, we don't need to solve everything by killing each other. I'm sorry, but that's just what politics is. The issues, um, now we're going to get back over here. I just had a little rant there, but that's not the point. That's not what we're here for. Whoa. Uh, tried scooting back in my chair, and it says scooting back, chair tip back. Oh, that could have ended badly. And also does keyboards. And also we'll do a keyboard. Very interesting. So we're going to test that. Whoa. How much RAM is this thing using? Hold on. All right. Let's just see. It's not using much RAM at all. It just seems to bog down the system. Oh, Bandicam is using a good chunk of that and my CPU, my processor. But it doesn't even lag that much when I have video games playing. I don't know why. We'll figure it out sooner or later. Even a vast uses less than that. And it's not even idle, it's actually protecting. Hmm. That's weird. But um as I was saying, this program is very nice. If you are a Facebook gamer, however, unless you want to find another program that can do this, you should either get more than one of these, like RE Mouse and Ghost Mouse. Because they will both allow you to do like an infinite amount of times. Or you just find another program. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can truly do with this program. It doesn't have uh, automatic playback, and I don't know why. They say older versions did, but this one doesn't seem to have that. But if you're looking for a simple automation tool and you're like a hardcore flash game player and you don't want to progress all the way up so you have to do it by having something else doing it for you use this if you're a gamer for an mmo and you use this uh you can be caught you can be banned you shall not pass go you shall not collect your 400 dollars. you will get a mean letter saying hey you were banned for cheating and a smack on the wrist or you will be uh you can very easily be reported. So, uh, please do not use this program for actual gaming. Uh, I know a lot of gamers tend to cheat like this. And, uh, unless the game's, like, free and unimportant, go ahead and, uh, use this. 
Remember, you do it at your own risk, and this program will be gone after, by, after this video. But um, that's about all I have to say for Ghost Mouse, the automation of keyboard and mouse technology. That is a horrible name. Someone's got to work on that, and by someone, I mean I'm, it's me. No one else works here. But so uh, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. And if you like this video, smack the like button, smack the subscribe button. But uh, do not smack anyone, including yourself, because someone's going to do it. And I don't want to get blamed for it, so please do not smack yourself. God, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> but no, in all honesty, thank you for watching, and goodbye.